With me on the line now is Ricardo Lovi, Capital Networks Healthcare Analyst, to talk through Clinogen Group. Ricardo, good morning to you. Hi, Andrew. Good morning. Ricardo, can we start by uh, outlining Clinogen's business model? Sure. So Clinogen has a very unique business model as they essentially focus on providing access to medicines in niche markets which aren't well covered by traditional drug distribution channels. So first, Clinogen supplies comparator drugs used in clinical trials. Secondly, they supply both unlicensed and licensed medicines through managed access schemes on a global basis. And thirdly, they have a small but highly profitable portfolio of hospital and specialty care brands, which they have bought from large pharmaceutical companies in the last few years and integrated within their, their own organization. What are the big growth drivers for them, do you reckon? Yes, essentially Clinigen capitalizes on the high need for licensed and unlicensed medicines in small niche markets which are largely neglected by multinational pharmaceutical companies and their wholesale distributors. This may happen for a number of reasons, including the fact that those markets are quite small and as such they don't fit very well with the scale of the operation of large companies with a turnover in the tens of billions of dollars every year. And then it's also the case of multinational companies periodically reorganizing their portfolios in order to maintain their focus on the latest and most innovative products. Those portfolio organizations, in turn, leave many perfectly good drugs falling outside key strategic priorities and may become valuable assets for companies like Clinigen. If we turn briefly to the main addressable market for Clinigen, we see that the clinical trials drug market is worth around $2 billion and growing double digit, and the markets for unlicensed drugs are worth anywhere between 5 and $10 billion again growing low double-digit rates. Well, talk me through, Ricardo, how they've built such a specialty pharma portfolio, if you would. Yes, at Clinigen, they've been focusing on acquiring the global rights of critical care hospital medicines. In particular, uh, they target fading brands, or anyway, brands where their analysis suggests a significant unexploited commercial potential. So after they have bought those drugs in, Clinigen implements the brand revitalization process through the involvement of key opinion leaders, uh, label expansions, and improved supply management. To give you an example of this, they bought Foscavir, an antiviral drug from AstraZeneca in 2012, when Foscavir had sales below £5 million a year, and then drove up sales above the 20 million mark in uh, just about five years. So looking ahead, what are the opportunities here for them? What do you expect in terms of potential deals? Well, besides favorable trends of supporting organic growth, we expect Clinigen to be looking opportunistically at more specialty pharma hospital drugs to buy. And realistically, uh, we think they may add about one drug per year to their specialty pharma portfolio. They may also engage in bolt-on acquisitions to reinforce their presence in specific geographies and add new market access services to the ones they're currently offering to pharmaceutical companies and uh, hospital pharmacies. Thanks, Ricardo. Ricardo Lovi there, Capital Networks Healthcare Analyst, talking through Clinogen Group.